Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the new Marvel Legends Iron Man Mark 27, which came in a two-pack with the new Civil War War Machine. Uh, this figure is basically just a repaint, and it is one that most people are kind of puzzled about. Why did they make this? It's kind of curious. Uh, which... I'm not a fan of this kind of figure, to be completely honest. I know it, it can fit into the armory of Iron Man figures, and it could be for one of the ones from Iron Man 3. I, I think it is, based on the fact that it's numbered, uh, but I don't remember it really, and it's not an appealing look. However, it, it kind of is at the same time. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. Alright, so he stands roughly 17 centimeters tall, which makes him just about... Just under six and three quarter inches. So, you know, it's, it's the same figure we've seen before. All right, there's nothing new here other than paint. And so the reason I said it, it's really not appealing is because it's it's very garishly bright orange and metallic blue. Uh, it's it's just bluish purple even. It, it's very, eh, I don't know. Uh, it's just not a practical look at all. Uh, but the blue is really cool. I, I'm a little partial to blue, but they, they really nailed it with this metallic purpley blue. It's very, very metallic looking, very cool looking, especially with the white up against it on the, for the eyes. That looks really cool. The chest, it looks okay. It looks better on camera, to be honest, than it does in real life, because the little white dot in the middle just looks a little odd up against the square backdrop and then the glowing white outside of that. So it's a little odd. But there's still, for some reason, there's something about this guy that I like. And I imagine most people are going to have that same that same take on it. It's a very weird, not attractive look. But at the same time, it's kind of intriguing at, at the same time. I don't know. I don't get it. But it's happening. He's got metallic gold in a couple of places on the figure. You see it right there. That's painted, so it's nice and metallic. These are molded, so they're not quite as metallic, but they're there. The elbow pieces. And then the gun is also that kind of... This one's not that metallic either because it's molded, but it is semi, semi-metallic, so it's all right. And the rest is just this blue and orange. And the orange is not good. It's not painted well. You can see it's rather dark here and kind of dull. It's pretty bright over here. It just goes back and forth from paint job to paint job, so it's not particularly good. And there's a lot of translucent uh, parts in that they didn't put enough paint down, so it doesn't look great. But if it's just going to stand there and be part of the armory, it'll look okay. Uh, I doubt many people are going to buy this two-pack because of this figure. But I have a feeling most people are going to kind of like it once they get it. I, I'm on that I'm on that boat. It's not a great figure. It doesn't look great. and it's, We know from before it's not a great figure physically because the ankles suck. Shoulder pads get in the way. But it, it's still kind of intriguing, kind of appealing. So I think most people are going to probably like it once they get it, even though they're not going to buy it intentionally. It's just going to be the result of the two-pack. So there you go. We don't need to run through the articulation. We've seen this exact mold before, so no big deal there. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.